Welcome to the Value Yourself Podcast. I am your host, Olivia, and in this podcast, we will talk about being your highest self, overcoming struggles, self-love, and more. If any of these episodes help you in any way, I'd really appreciate it if you could follow and rate this podcast, as well as share this podcast with others that may find it helpful. Thank you for tuning in, and let's get into the episode. Hello everyone and welcome back to another podcast and on YouTube as well. Um, still getting used to this whole new setup but I'm so used to like literally recording in my closet with my hair and makeup not done but I'm happy to do this. It's so exciting to do something new and it's just nice to get back on YouTube because I haven't been on YouTube in a really long time. Um, so I'm going to get straight into this video since it is a part two of the last video that I did of the top um, tips to becoming successful. I touched on the physical aspect. Let me put my phone in. Do not disturb. So no one disturbs me while I'm doing this because I do have my notes on my phone. Um, so I did do the physical aspects and now I'm going to be touching on more of the mental aspects. So things to keep in mind when you are doing these physical things because we all know that they're not easy. We all know it's not easy to take a cold shower <laughs> um i'm telling you like i mumble i fight with myself before i do it i swear at myself i hate doing it and then i feel so good at the end like we all have to nudge ourselves and look at um specific mental aspects to do these things because once you get to the gym you do your workout it's fine um but it's about getting to the gym it's about after you have a good workout and coming home and having like your chicken and rice and your diet food and not like ordering a pizza after you work out, it's all about mental aspects. So yes, the physical stuff is hard, but I do think the mental aspect is harder. I don't know if you guys agree with me that um, I could go to the gym all day, every day for hours, but I struggle with when I come home and not snacking and having the discipline and consistency to not do those things and just stay on track in that regard. So with that being said, let's get into it. Our first tip we have is staying consistent over an extended period of time will give you the best results. So I know with the new year coming up, there's going to be so many like people and Instagram ads to try to sell you short-term things like diets and um, gym plans and all these expensive short-term goals that aren't going to work over time. Like, trust me, I've been there. I've done it. I've done every single diet. I've done, I've paid people for their training plans. And in the, at the end of the day, I will say my best results came from figuring it out myself, learning my body. No one knows your body. So why are you trusting someone to to pay them hundreds of dollars for this like same cookie cutter plan that they make for everyone yes there are certain people out there that are educated and are motivated and motivated and disciplined and consistent into helping people really reach their goals but there are tons of people out there that are just going to give you this cookie cutter plan short-term plan um, because they want money like that's just the whole thing it is so you do have to be careful and do your research and finding like a good trainer a good um person that's going to actually listen to you and your goals and your body type and so many other things that they have to consider in order to give you a great plan. Um, so I would say be aware and be weary of all of those plans coming in for the new year. Um, obviously, YouTube is great, a great source to look up um, training plans and diets and um, workouts that are free. Like those people that are putting those videos out there for free, um, for you to do, I love YouTube for doing that. Um, so use resources first that are free and use Google, use the internet on how to find um, plans and stuff 
don't waste your money on short-term plans because we all know that we get very excited to do these short-term plans and we stick to it for like a week and it's literally impossible. I have friends tell me like they're cutting out sugar, gluten, dairy, everything. They're cutting out all carbs and (laughs) I'm like that is absolutely insane like you know and they're excited you know like they're on this high because it's working and they're finally losing weight and they're running five miles a day and they're on a lifting program and everything's working out for them but what happens when that high wears off and it gets harder because they never really liked that training program to begin with they never liked that diet to begin with and they're losing so much weight so fast and then maybe a month or maybe a few weeks or a month or a few months go by and they find themselves gaining more weight than they had before they even started this program because they're not motivated anymore and they start binging on carbs and sugars and everything that they couldn't have before so that's what these this little cycle does and then you get depressed and upset and then you go back to the diet and it's a whole cycle um so i'm really trying to get people out of that short term um motivating high that you get and more telling people to focus on the short the which I how should I say this the not the short term but more on small small goals at a time instead of putting so much onto you at once so an example would be like going on a short walk for a mile a day like that's anyone can do that that's simple um or doing 10 minutes of yoga a day if the walking is too much or just if you are a pop drinker maybe only drink one pop a week instead of four pops a week you know what i mean so i would just try to be consistent with things over a long period of time with things that are realistic and that what you can do don't do things that you hate because you're just going to push yourself back even more as the time goes instead of just um, focusing on something small and building those things up over time you will get better results that way trust me um so number two is to stay focused on the long-term goal instead of the short term so we all know that we get that high i'm talking about when you start a new diet or a new workout routine and you get very excited and then that motivation wears off motivation what i've heard before in this motivational video that i listen to when i work out is they say like motivation is like a cup of coffee in the morning like it's that little high that you get but it's not the long term it's not long term so that little motivation that you get like you can hold on to that and that's great that you get that but you're not going to be motivated 24 7. that's when you have to start focusing on the long-term goals instead of the short term um it's not easy but when you are working out let's say at the gym and you and obviously this is not all about the gym by the way and it's not about diet plans success goes this can be a job this can be school um but i'll go through a few examples but let's say you're at the gym and you're working out and you just hate it like you do not want to go to the gym today like you don't like you know you can like your body is saying that you can like you're not injured you're a little fatigued but you're not like super tired and you just had a long day and it was stressful and the last thing you want to do is go to the gym but we all know that we have to so in that situation don't focus on like such the short term like the short term would be going to the gym getting a good workout feeling good about yourself and that's it focus on more of the long term like why why are you doing this in the first place because you have a goal to lose 10 pounds by in like five months or so that's why you're doing it you want to lose this weight because you really have this goal of yours that you just really want to feel confident in a bikini on spring break so that's your long-term goal okay it's not the little short term of getting the workout done and just being done for the day focus on that long-term goal when you feel like you're not motivated anymore or you feel like you can't go on any longer and this can go for school too let's say you have this exam and it's so difficult and you know you had to pass it to pass this class and that is that is a short-term goal your short-term you're staying in that short-term goal to pass this test so you can pass the class and when you hold on to that little short-term goal it's just like that's totally unmotivating like yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna pass the class eventually but 
that's not the whole reason why we're doing this. The long-term goal to pass this test, the long-term goal would be so I can graduate. So I'm in school for um, therapy. So I could graduate and become the therapist that I want to and I can get licensed and I can get my life going and I can just be done with school and start my life. That's another example for like school. Always focus on the long term instead of the short term. The short term only gets you so far. Um, but when you when the short term isn't working anymore, try to just sit back and reflect and just think about the long term goal for a minute. Step number three is to remember the reasons to why you are doing something. So this goes into the second tip. When you feel not motivated, remember why you are doing this. So let's say I'm gonna give you an example about my podcast. <laughs> It's, I've just started this, right, a few months ago, and sometimes, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, I get unmotivated for, um, not seeing as much growth as I want to, and comparing myself to other, um, podcasters, or comparing myself to Instagram models who already have a, f um, a following, and then they start a podcast, and it's just so easy for them to grow. I'm starting from, like, scratch here, and I do it because I love it. I get, do it because I have a message that I want to share with people, but of course, it does get, um, it doesn't, it gets a little unmotivating to to keep doing it when I don't see like a substantial growth of followers and I what keeps me going to just not quit is to remember why I'm doing it I have followers I have people watching my videos who look forward to seeing them and that's why I'm doing this I am doing it because I have a message that I want to share with the world and this is my passion and I do want to help people for my career and that's what's important. It doesn't matter. That's when it doesn't matter how many followers you have or how many views you get on something. It's about your passion and why you want to help people. It's about the reason why you're doing it. Or when you're going to the gym, okay, maybe your your March goal of you looking confident in a bikini, feeling confident in a bikini isn't good enough. Remember why you're doing it. Instead of feeling confident in a bikini, yes, that's one of them. That can get you focused on the long-term goal, but let's focus on our health. We're doing this because we don't want to feel stressed. Like, we want to feel confident, yes, but we want to feel healthy and we don't want to feel sluggish and fatigued and we're not drinking this month because we want to feel energetic and we want to wake up at a good time in the morning and we want to, we want our skin to look better. Stuff like that. Remember the reasons to why you're doing it or school. Like I said, I want to graduate and get my life together. Like I want to start my life. I'm not going to just drop out or stop doing well in my class like yeah it's it's hard but we have to remember why we're doing something to stay consistent and to be successful number four um stay out of victim mentality no excuses we all know that when life gets hard and things are being thrown at us and we don't want to go to the gym and we're tired and we don't want to study for this exam or we don't want to go to work we all have these things happen and our, I feel like at least my initial thing to do would be to start making excuses like I'm tired or I had a long day at work or it was, it was really stressful and I'm just, I just can't do it. I can't do it. That's an excuse. Like it's a difference between, okay, my last tip I'm going to tell you now is listen to your body. That's different. Like listening to your body if you're injured or you really do need to sleep in because you've had such a crazy week and you just know that you need some extra sleep. That's like listening to your body and just knowing yourself. But it's a difference between actually listening to your body or listening to what your brain and your mind is trying to tell you because it's all tricks. Our bodies are way stronger than what our brains say that we are. When you're working out or doing something that's difficult, our first reaction is to stop doing that thing because it's bringing us out of our comfort zone. But you have to dig in deeper into your mind and be like, are you actually telling me that this is too much for my body or or can I actually do this and I'm just getting out of my comfort zone and I naturally don't want to do it? That's what you have to think about when you are doing something difficult. Our bodies are like, well, our brains are trained to keep us out of things that are difficult and keep us in our comfort zone that's the whole point but it's our duty to try to get out of that mentality try to get out of the victim mentality of if you are at work and you just 
you're just like so tired and you don't want to do this extra paperwork and oh wow me 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 like we gotta stop doing that we gotta it's you gotta be more self-aware and take accountability for your actions and sometimes there's just things that you have to do regardless and you just kind of have to do them there's there's always those things where you just have to do those things I know you know what I mean there's just things that you have to do in life and no one wants to do them and it's just life um so stay out of the victim mentality and try to work on not making so many excuses for yourself um number five is to try to stay as positive as possible but not toxic positivity so toxic positivity is when you actually are having a bad day and you share that with someone and they kind of disregard everything that you say and they're just like oh, well, someone else has a way worse than you, so you should be happy. Or, oh, but at least you woke up today. Or, I don't know, just totally disregarding your feelings and just being toxic about it. And being, yes, that is true. Like, someone does have it worse than me, but that doesn't take away of how I feel right now. And sometimes you just need someone to listen to you. So, with yourself, try not to be in toxic positivity so if you really are having a bad day because we all do we all get sad like we're human beings try not to disregard what you're feeling and try to get out of it by saying oh well at least (laughs) i'm i'm have um a blessed life and i have a great house and shelter and food yes that is great and that's a great tool to look at sometimes when you are practicing gratitude practicing gratitude is totally different than toxic positivity sometimes we need to be more focused on the positive things to get us out of something but that's different when you really are struggling and you just need to sit in your feelings for a little bit sit in your emotions feel it cry it out when you learn to acknowledge your feelings and your emotions and start saying in the present moment that is a great tool to have because when you are feeling in that in that moment you're feeling all the feelings you are being you are learning yourself and you are learning to be stronger from that and that is that is a great thing to do a lot of people don't do it they push down their feelings and they just try to be positive and get through the day but you can't do that when you really are having a bad day and you really are feeling low So, I would challenge you to try to be more aware of your feelings and be positive, focus gratitude, but stay out of the toxic positivity and don't take it from anyone else as well. Um, Number six is to stay disciplined. This is self-explanatory. Stay disciplined and I would add stay consistent to that as well. It's hard, guys. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, we don't want to do these things and... I'm telling you, over time, discipline and consistency are going to get you very, very far in your success journey, whether that is school, work, podcasts, hobbies, gym, whatever it is, that is going to get you very, very far. And I don't meet a lot of people, to be honest, with those qualities. I feel like I've always been very different from other people and people always think I'm crazy for doing certain things, but I want to be successful. Like, who doesn't want to be successful? People that wallow in self-pity and don't do things every day for themselves, those people don't want to grow. They don't want to be successful. They they complain. Like, they want th- something. Like, they say that they want to lose weight, but then they don't do anything about it. And that's another thing, too, for the no excuse thing and staying in um, a victim mentality is people complain all the time, but they don't do anything about it. And I think that's one of my biggest pet peeves because like I said in my other video, we all have the same amount of time in our day to do something that we we really want to do. So if I really want to lose weight, I'm going to do it. Like there's no excuse there. You have to stay disciplined. You have to stay consistent through that. And I don't want to hear you complain. There was another motivational video that I heard that was like, okay, like you're down, you're having a bad day. But if I come back a week later and you're still on the ground, like, I don't respect you because we all have bad days and we all have things going on. That's life. But take a moment for yourself. But if you start taking weeks and weeks for yourself, it's time to get up. Like, it's time to start reaching our goals. I do not want to hear you complain if you're not doing anything about it. And that's just how it is. And it's hard. And we all know that. But that's just something that we have to do. So get up, get going. Um, 
mental strength for sure don't don't be fooled by the tricks that your mind is playing on you you can do it just stay disciplined no matter how hard it is and number seven is my last tip is to listen to your body so with all of these tips obviously these are hard tips to take into account mentally but at the end of the day, please listen to your body. Like I said, if you're having a bad day, like I want you to feel those emotions. I don't want you to push them down. And especially for males, if any guys are watching this, the like toxic masculinity of always being tough and not sharing your feelings or not going to therapy and just growing your muscles as big as you can to push away all your problems, that is not going to get you very far. Like I want you to genuinely listen to your body mentally and if you are having a bad day, I want you to sit with those feelings and maybe journal about them and meditate. Um, when you're injured, please rest. Like, don't push yourself that much to go to the gym when you know you're injured. Um, if you really are sleep deprived, I want you to get your sleep because we all know, like, sleeping recovers your muscles as well. It's all, it's working out is great, but you also need sleep. Um, dietary restrictions like please don't push yourself too much we all know with my hormones anyway like i need certain foods during certain times of the month just please you know your body best i don't so whatever you need to do to listen to your body please listen to your body um follow these tips with that in mind that's all i ask of you um i don't want you to hurt yourself i don't want you to be overwhelmed and that's the big thing about the short-term goals as well and short-term plans that people are selling you is that don't they don't take that into accountability and that's just very important and i hope you guys take take that like if anything in this video just take that like listen to yourself do your best listen to your mind push yourself get uncomfortable but listen to your body at the same time okay so those are all of my tips for the top tips to becoming successful with the mental aspects. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I enjoy doing this video and thank you for watching and please follow, send this to your friends who might need a boost of motivation um, to be successful in, the new, successful in the new year and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.